Welcome to Fearless Fridays. I hope you guys are enjoying this series of videos that are really getting you guys to be a lot more confident in your ability to meet people, be more expressive, and ultimately just be a person who can connect with people. So I want to jump into this video, but first I want to kind of go over a little bit what Brian talked about in the first two videos. So he has you guys doing two approaches a day for 90 days straight. And I think that's awesome because it takes 90 days to really develop a skill at a subconscious level. So if you guys are going out doing two approaches a day, you guys are going to be beast by the end of that 90 days. I spent some time going out doing about uh, maybe five or 10 approaches for about 60 days straight. And that literally changed my whole relationship to meeting women. And so I know that even though this is lower level attention doing two a day, for 90 days I feel like it's enough for guys to be able to commit to so that you guys won't break your commitments to yourself so starting off small I feel like is always the best thing so in this two approaches a day starting off with indirects which are asking for time asking for directions and then slowly ramping your way up to being at a place where you can give compliments right you can tell the girl she's beautiful she's sexy you can get over there and really start to enjoy the directness and be more direct and be more honest and straightforward with that i want to talk about the guys who are having maybe a little bit trouble with being that guy who's a little bit more direct and say you're starting off with the more indirect stuff which is the time and the directions hey you know what time it is? I'm trying to find Starbucks. You know where the Apple store is around here. Um, you know where a good burger is around here or a good pizza place. So where do you go from there, right? Are you are you the guy who's maybe really killing it with that right now and you've been really consistent with it and you're finding yourself at a place where you need something just a little bit more exciting to get you out the house to do more? Then let's talk about ramping that up, right? Or is that still a good spot for you and you're starting to get more at ease with it? And if you are getting more at ease with it and you're still enjoying it, stay there, that's fine. But if you feel like you need just a little bit more or you want to take the challenge of stepping up to the next level and opening up yourself a little bit more to, in your approaching, I would say this, start to work on having 30 second conversations, having 30 second conversations after you've asked the indirect questions. So it'll be something like this. Hey, I'm trying to find like a pizza place around here. Do you guys know one? They might say, no, we're not from here. You might say, oh, cool. Wait, where are you guys from? Oh, we're from X, Y, and Z. Cool, crazy, nice. How do you guys like it here? Are you guys on vacation? How long are you guys here for? Right, and start to drag that conversation out. It's, you know, it can be very simple, but it can be very hard. This is your first time really learning how to interact with strangers. For me, it took a while to really get this down. And Brian would start me off by having me try to have a two minute conversation with people. And it was, it was terrifying. Like I was like, I don't even know what to say for two minutes. Like how do I keep people entertained for that long? They're gonna walk away way sooner than I can think. And so, you know, of course it did happen to crash and burn, but then I learned how to do it. And now I can hold very long conversations with people um, standing in the middle of the store but uh, it took time to build that up so i want to help you guys really get to that place where you guys can connect be grounded be in the conversation enjoy it uh make new friends right make new acquaintances but just ultimately be able to approach people especially beautiful women and feel confident in doing so okay so if you're that guy who wants to ramp it up just a little bit because you've been having you've been doing it very consistently and you need just a little bit more attention then, then try that right Try turning asking for the time into a conversation. See if you can get it to about 30 seconds. And if you can get it to about 30 seconds, then maybe try testing your ability to get it to a minute. If you can get it to a minute, you can get it to two minutes and then you can get it to five minutes. And then ultimately 10 minutes. And obviously if you can get it to 10 minutes, that's pretty much a date <laughs> right there. If it's a woman that you're interested in. So have some fun with that and go out there and, and practice that. Let that be your progression into being more comfortable with approaching women. For the guys out there who are already confident with giving compliments and being more direct with women, find out where your struggle is. What's what's the one thing that you really need right now to take it to the next level, right? Maybe it's being a little bit more direct. Maybe it's really showing your intention a little bit more during the conversation. Maybe it's even just asking for a phone number or asking for a date, right? So slowly ramp yourself up to that and say, oh, cool, hey, cool. Hey, I thought you are beautiful. I got myself over here, yada, yada, yada cool you've been talking to her a couple seconds couple minutes you're locked in with her and he's like cool well give me your number oh, let's hang out sometime right and start to go that direction because that's what's really going to get you more dates and that's what you're looking for okay so on to our second part of the video brian talked about in the last video he talked about expression and i can't emphasize how much expression really draws people in and makes people want to get to know you he talks about being charismatic and we're all drawn to charismatic people we love it right so how do we become a charismatic person if we did weren't raised that way we didn't start off being that way well the exercises brian gave you in the last video which is about opening your heart standing in one spot sauntering and saying hi and connecting with people that's a really great way to build it okay and so how i would build on top of that is the heart is a great place to start also filling your lower gut 
and filling your pelvis and asking those to open up in the same way that you would ask your heart to open. So try to get a visceral experience of it right now if you can, right? Ask your uh, pelvis to open up a little bit and just notice the details. What are you feeling? Do you feel like there's an expansion or is there a contraction? Is there fear or is there maybe a tinge of enjoyment? Is there a sprinkle of enjoyment? If there is, ask that enjoyment, ask for a little bit more, ask if you can open it just a little bit wider. Now even ask your lower stomach, right? Your stomach is your self-esteem center. But as with the heart, you can also ask that to open as well and it'll also give you something. What does it give you when you ask it to open? Just kind of notice it. Now for some, there may be fear in there if you don't have a relationship to your lower body, you don't have a relationship to your stomach. A lot of people block the wall off their stomach. A lot of people have heart energy up, but don't have the stomach. And some guys have lower, have pelvis energy or internal and sexual energy down and they don't have the stomach. And some have both and they will just block the stomach off completely. So start to feel what's going on in your stomach. There's a lot going on there a lot of times. But then again, this is your self power. This is truly your power. This is your voice. This is your projection of your voice. This is you feeling solid and confident in the world and safe. So we're going to use this as our expression skill set in this video, right? So how do how would you implement something like this? Well, of course, go out, do your 25 highs, do your 50 highs, do your 100 highs. And I want you to just focus on the pelvis being open, the enjoyment, the excitement of actually being out there, the passion that you have for being out there, and also the gut and notice what's in there. Notice your power in that too, right? Because what that's going to really do, having both of these energies open, it's, it's going to actually allow your grounding to turn on a lot more. So you might, it might start to feel that your insides of your legs turning on the nerve endings, the outsides of your legs and down to your feet and your toes. And that's what you want because that's what's going to plant you like a root into the ground, like a tree. Think of the leaves on a tree. The tree, the leaves are the feminine, right? in the trunk of the tree is the grounding. Now think about the leaves on a tree. They're expressive, right? They're colorful, they're beautiful. They move, you know, when the wind blows, they're very expressive as you are with say the heart being open, right? And you vocalizing and saying, hey, how you guys doing? Hey, you, how you doing? How you doing? As you're saying your highs, but also with having that lower energy with the stomach and the ground and the legs, it's going to make you feel a lot safer and in place. And it's also going to feel like this as you're saying your highs to people, it'll make it seem like I'm not in a rush to just say hi and get away really quickly. So it helps with the sauntering that Brian talked about in the last video, the sauntering, the slowing down, allowing yourself to be seen, allowing people to hear you. Yes, it could be scary because you're risking being judged or somebody saying something to you, but no risk, no reward. And again, it's never going to be as bad as we think it's going to be. It's always all in our head or in our, our past experiences that we're, we're, we're reliving. So start to feel the pelvis, start to feel the, the gut, ask it to open as you're doing your highs with each person. Notice that there's a part of you as you're doing these highs, you just feel out safer. You feel like, hey, how you doing, man? Hey, that's a pretty cool hat, dude. I like that. Nice. Awesome. Hey, how you guys doing? That's a cool jacket. I like that, right? Notice how slow and less reactive that is, right? And that comes from opening that lower part of your body and having a sense of that groundiness. Now, also added with that, I would say, Brian uh, in the last video mentioned having a friend with you. I think having a friend with you is awesome. Me and Brian have gone out and, and Coach Josh have gone out and Sam actually. <laughs> we have all gone out together as a group and done the highs by standing still or dancing around and saying hi. When you get your friends there, it's kind of fun. You feel a lot safer, you feel a lot more free to be a little bit more sillier. Uh, but they're also doing the exercises with you and that also makes it more fun to grow, right? And you won't even think about it because you're just out there having fun. So if you've got a friend with you, try this exercise. This is one we tried and I thought it was awesome. It was scary at first, but it was super awesome. Being on two separate sides of the street and holding a conversation across the street or right, across the intersection, wherever you guys are. Um, I would say maybe go somewhere where there's high traffic and there's a lot of people, right? Again, feel your gut, feel your stomach, ask it to open, feel your pelvis, ask it to open, find that, find that expansion, that passion, that enjoyment that's behind the closing of it. And start to hold a conversation with your friend across the street about anything. It can be about the date you had last night. It can be about the kind of girls that you like. It can be about how your day is going. Hey man, I, hey, how was that date with that girl last night? Oh, it was awesome, man. She was super sexy. She came over, she wore this, da da da. And notice the part of you that's, or notice people watching you, let's say that. Notice people seeing you, judging you, trying to figure out what you guys are doing. This is silly. And just welcome all that stuff. Welcome all that junk that's coming up, right? And welcome that fear of being seen. And see if you can find just a little bit of, of adventure and excitement with it through filling your pelvis and your gut as you start to do it. And see if you can, if it turns you on more to even be just a little bit more louder in your energy. Also notice the legs being grounded out as you express a lot louder across that street. Hey, 
hey, what's going on, man? Hey, what's going on, dude? What's going on? What are you up to over there, right? Like that, but also grounding your legs out and filming it. That's gonna be really fun when you really start to get the hang of it. And it may be fearful at first because you're gonna be seeing people are gonna be trying to figure out what you guys doing. But ultimately you'll start laughing about it because it's really just putting yourself out there being seen, but you'll feel a lot safer with that lower energy being activated and turned on, okay guys? So remember, a lot of people don't have relationship to their lower energies, uh, so it can be a very scary thing to open that thing up, but it will make you safer uh, in conjunction with doing this work, okay? So with that said, guys, in your highs, remember what Brian said, keep, the, keep enough distance where people can see you because we always see this, people will do, way, people will do their highs way too late and they'll wonder why they're not getting great responses. Keep the distance, that's a great thing to do. Let people see you coming, let people see you seeing them and let them see you be seen. Allow yourself to be seen, right? This is what's really gonna help you accelerate and become more confident faster. Also, with that said, your journaling. Your journaling is crucial, man. That journaling has, has accelerated my growth in so many different ways because it's, when I read what I've done, what I've written down at the end of each day, I approached X, uh, X amount of girls, eight girls today. Uh, I did uh, 50, 60 stops. And what it'll do is it'll challenge your nervous system, the part of you or your belief system, the part of you that doesn't think you can get the stuff done or thought that you couldn't get the stuff done or thought that it was gonna be hard. And when you read it before you go to bed, you're gonna be like, man, I did all this stuff, this is crazy. Your subconscious is gonna start to take that in. It's, it's gonna start to be like, okay, well, I can do what I didn't think I can do. And it's gonna really open you up to doing more things that you never thought you can do. And you'll start to feel more confident when you roll out of bed in the morning because you did, you set the attention. And that's just the nature of stepping the attention, feeling more free and feeling more excited, okay guys? So keep the journaling going. So again, let me go back over the steps. Two approaches a day for 90 days. You guys should be in your third week. So this should be about, I would say, what's uh, 21 days in now? Uh, keep doing your two approaches. If you guys are doing the time and directions, then slowly ramp it up into 30 second conversations, right? If you guys are already at a place where you guys are doing compliments and being just a little bit more direct, then start asking for numbers, right? Start talking a little bit more, right? Start to play with that connection and uh, see where you can take that, okay? We'll elaborate on that stuff in, in, in more videos for this Friday, but work with that for now and that should really help you guys out tremendously. Second thing, keep doing your highs, right? If you guys are doing 25 highs a day, then maybe slowly ramp it up to about 50 highs a day. And if you can get 50, you can get 100. So 25 to 100 highs for the weekend, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, okay? Weekend stuff. Go out and do 25 highs a day for three days straight, okay? Notice how that makes you feel. Practice opening up the pelvis. Practice opening up the gut. Notice how that makes you feel, right? The exercise with your friend from across the street. That's a really great one to do in order to really practice this expressive energy, it'll bring you out of your shell a lot more too, okay? Also, don't forget the journaling. The journaling is huge. And most importantly, don't forget to comment in the videos your gains. What are you, what are you, grant? what are you, uh, what are you learning out there? What's your experience? What's the feedback that you're getting from people? How are people relating to you? Are you notice it shift a little bit different? Are people wanting to stop and talk to you a little bit more? Or when you're doing your highs, are people slowing down and be like, hey, what's going on, man? Cool. Awesome. A lot slower, a lot more connected. Put that in a comment. Even if you're having challenges, put the challenges in a comment because we definitely want to know what's going on with you and how we can help you in future videos really overcome that stuff that you guys are dealing with, okay? Hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and remember, only the confident really live.